You, the grade 8 students of A.K. Wake Public School, officially graduate. I need to add that you all look amazing this evening. The graduating class of 2019 is a remarkable group of young people. This is a class with a strong work ethic, inspiring creativity, excellence in athletic achievements, and also one that has demonstrated a kindness and spirit to generously give back to their community. We as a staff of AK Wig feel not just lucky, but privileged to have shared in the lives of our graduates. Graduates, at AK Wig, you took the first of many important steps in your lives. Here, you've learned skills, you've developed talents. Behind you are all your memories. Before you are all your dreams. You will build on them and find out many more fascinating uh, things about yourself. Around you are all those who you love, supporting you on your life's journey of learning and celebrating your success with you. Within you, is all you will need. The values, the skills, the talents that you developed throughout your elementary school life will be the foundation for what you achieve in the future. Alyssa Karen with honors. Xander Dedevides with honor. Good evening. This student shows a high level of excellence in all, her, in all she does. She works tirelessly to make sure that her work is flawless and polished. Her voice is clear and she embraces the opportunity to present and speak publicly. When she writes, her stories often talk about dragons and science fiction. When she reads, she understands what she has read and is able to clearly explain elements of the text. This student maintained the highest academic average in language over the school year. It gives me great pleasure to present the this year's language award to Alyssa Karen.
exemplified excellence in citizenship, leadership, participation, academic achievement, and community involvement. The name of the recipient of this award will be inscribed on our school plaque, and they will receive a medallion to keep. The recipient of this award has been involved in school life in a variety of ways, including the Early Act Club, the Red Maple Reading Club, the Yearbook Committee. Uh, they've emceed at school assemblies and have been a cast member in our musical Willy Wonka Jr. They volunteered in the fun fair, regularly helped with pizza days, morning announcements, and changing the school sign. The recipient has also contributed in the community through junior youth group, piano lessons, and has been a, a participant in a variety of piano festivals. It is with pleasure that I announce this year's recipient of the Excellence in Education Award is Alyssa Karen. First of all, to all our AKWIC graduates, I'm honored to say we are proud of your many achievements over the years, your accomplishments in all the extracurricular and curricular activities, your successes in academic classes and in all the teams and individual sports. The memories you've created at AKWIC will not be forgotten. This year's valedictorians represent the graduating class of 2019. Our first valedictorian is an excellent public speaker. She has contributed positively to the climate of the school and her community. She refuses to sit on the sidelines and gets involved in every activity available both in and outside of the school. She doesn't do anything half-heartedly. When she's given a task, she dives in and refuses to give anything less than her all. She is modest and maintains a level of confidence that makes everyone around her better. She always shows kindness and is revered by her classmates. He has a remarkable 10 years at AKWIG by taking a thousand unremarkable steps. His value has gone up with every year that has passed. He's not going to change the world in a day, but he might do so if given enough time. Having a positive impact on someone's life takes time. He takes time to build trust. He takes time to establish positive relationships. He takes the time to build an incredible reputation. He is caring, kind, giving, and generous. He is a friend to all and always puts the needs of others before his own. He is an outstanding student and citizen. Both of these students were nominated by the staff at AK Wick and have received the greatest number of votes by their peers. Congratulations goes up to this year's valedictorians, Alyssa Karen and Ellen Morrison. I think the hardest thing about writing is how to start and when to end. As my teachers and many others would tell you, knowing when to conclude my writing seems to be very difficult for me. I like to talk and talk and ramble on and on. Usually I start with the instruction of writing a five page report, but by the time I've finished we're closer to ten. Good evening staff, parents, family, friends, and fellow graduates. At the beginning of this year I caught myself thinking, you know, if we were all born a year later, we would have graduated in the visually pleasing year of 2020. I could have tried to fail to make this dream come true, but that idea had more risk than reward. So here we are, June 25th, 2019, graduation. 
I must say it's all a bit surreal to me, and probably my fellow graduates, and even some parents and teachers. On the first day of kindergarten, we were looking forward to snack time and going home, not graduation. For me, it wasn't until the end of grade seven year that the idea of graduating finally sunk in. So being here now, experiencing this with all of you, is an amazing feeling. Summing up 10 years in five minutes is a very difficult task for me, so please don't time the speech. It's probably shorter than it would have been because when taking time to reflect, I found myself struggling to remember anything that took place between kindergarten and grade three. The things I do remember were not necessarily big things. It was actually the small things that had the greatest impact. The little acts of kindness and compassion that were shown by friends after a rough day at school. The witty jokes from classmates that made me laugh. The thoughtfulness of others and witnessing generosity and goodness in other students while at school. Those are the things that I remember. And I'm sure you do too. I guess you can say those tiny acts were life-changing after all. Opera singer Robert Rell once said, enjoy the little things, for one day he may look back and realize they were the big things. We are graduating from AK Wake Elementary School with little experience of the real world. Next step, high school and the opportunity to gain more experience. At last, we can actually take some classes we want to take. We will have the chance to make many new friends and finally gain some independence. We can have just a little more room on the steering wheel that is our education. Looking ahead, we may think that everything's going to be sunshine and rainbows, but we must look back on the past 10 years with fondness. Yes, I know elementary school was a bit like a dictatorship, but sometimes being told what to do helps to eliminate the stress. In high school, you actually have to think about what you want to do for the future. In elementary school, you're still learning the basics you need moving forward. I kind of like thinking about school life as a video game. Kindergarten was a free playthrough of the game. Elementary and middle school was the eight-year-long tutorial. High school is when we actually start playing the game and moving up the levels. Any school we choose to go after that is a boss level, and employment for the job you want is the final cuts into the game that probably advertises the game's many sequels, such as With Life Prices, Turning Old, and Retiring. <laughs> I want to acknowledge something amazing that happened this year at AK Wade. Our Willy Wonka Junior Play. First of all, thank you, Mr. Arsenault, for even just being at our school, but especially, thank you for doing the play. Being in that was amazing. Now I can take off acting in a play off my Charlie bucket list, the same bucket list that has be able to pay off my student debt in university without going broke. So that's pretty high up there. Yes, it was a school play, but so much effort went into it. It was such a unique experience to have. And did you see the finished product? I mean, Wow, if I could whistle, I would to show emphasis on that statement. What a great event for us grade eights to top off our elementary school years. The most exciting and probably the most expected thing about grade eight would be the auto trip that most grade eights go on every year. Six hours there, six hours back, and three days of patriotic fun in between. We all had our favorite parts of the trip. Some of us liked the museum, some of us liked the Rideau Center, and others liked the bus driver, Jerry. All in all, we had a lot of laughs and fun times in Ottawa. We may not have gotten a full night's sleep every night, whether it's because of our roommates, the ghost walk, or the fact we were six hours from home, but somehow we managed to get through three days without tearing each other apart. <laughs> we had a schedule that told us where to go and when. However, sometimes our schedule would lack certain information, like the fact that we played a game of octopus on the lawn of the Supreme Court or that at the same time we were at the parliament buildings, there would be a massive yoga session that roughly 500 people attended, and we're all stretched out on the grass beside us. Or maybe even that the television channels in Ottawa were actually really good for a college dormitory. All in all, our Ottawa trip this year was incredibly fun. I definitely think it was worth the six hours on the bus we had to endure to get there. The graduating class of 2019 may not be the greatest class that ever came out of the AK Wait, wait, check that. The graduating class of 2019 is probably the best class ever. All the perseverance and effort put into every class project, sports team, club meeting, brainstorming session, test, and assignment, I'm so thrilled to be part of this year's graduating class, even if it's not the visually appealing year of 2020. However, in the future, it will be your integrity, your character, and your effort that will define who you are. It will be the friendships and relationships that you've made along the way that will stay with you. In high school, Everyone is starting back at square one. For some, this means a fresh start in new areas. For others, this is a great opportunity to continue where you began in elementary school. 
regardless of what situation you may be in, don't lose sight of the things that are truly important in life. Cherish the relationships you have with your family and friends. Take time in deepening bonds with them and try to work hard every day to be a little nicer than necessary. Treat others the way you want to be treated and remember to always choose kindness. Don't be afraid to get involved in high school activities and to try new things. Think big thoughts, dream big dreams, and be optimistic in whatever you're doing. I hope, my fellow graduates, that you continue to prosper in your years to come. I hope that you had the time of your life in high school, and I hope that when you look back on your elementary school years at AK Wig, that you look back on them with fondness. Thank you.